We're still talking today about uh, why bad things happen to good people. And uh, that is taking a lot of assumption upon ourselves to call ourselves good. Well, I don't kill, I, I don't steal, I don't commit adultery, I go to church, I, I, I do all these good things, I pay tithes, I, I give to the poor. Uh, I'm a good person. Well, Matthew chapter 19 paints a little different picture. Matthew 19 verse 16 says, And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And Jesus replied to him in verse 17 and said, Why do you call me good? There's none good but one, that is God. But if you'll enter into life, keep the commandments. So basically, he'll give us eternal life if we'll keep the commandments. But that doesn't make us good. You know, Ecclesiastes 7 and 20 says, For there is not a just man on earth that doeth good and sinneth not. And, and, and so we know that by, by those scriptures, none of us are good. In fact, the Bible tells us that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So how can we call ourselves good? Well, we, we call ourselves good because we try to live by the commandments. But still, compared to a holy God, we are still unholy. Compared to God, to, who is perfect, we still show up evil. We don't look good compared to God. Compared to God's holiness, we're still fallen, broken man. And so, why do bad things happen to good people? Well, it's really hard to call us good because we still have sin in our life. We may have been forgiven. We may have been closer to God. We may have drawn ourselves closer to Him. But you can't tell me that uh, in the last 24 hours, maybe you didn't get angry at someone, especially if you drive or you have children or you're married. You know, we all have problems that really cause us issues in life, things that make us angry, things that, that, that tempt us to do things that we shouldn't do. You ever cheated on your taxes? <laughs> I mean, think about um, think about the things that we do all throughout our life, and, and how can we call ourselves good? Well, you know, bad things happen. You know, the Bible is clear. It tells us that it rains upon the just and the unjust. God gives fair and equal treatment to you, whether you're sinner or saint. He does all of those things. However, there is a blessing for those who will walk in the ways of God. And we'll get into that a little bit more tomorrow, how we can walk above the curse. But for today, we still operate in a sin-filled world that's full of sin, it's broken, it's destitute. This is not the original creation that God had made. We are just looking at, when we look all around us at all of the beauty and the splendor of this world, let me tell you what you're looking at. You're still looking at flood damage. You're looking at things that have been caused because of sin's curse on this planet. But praise be to God that he loves you and he loves me and he bought us back with a price. You know, John 3, 16, it kind of all rolls up into that one. Probably the most important uh, Bible verse there is, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now remember, friends, if all of this happened, if this whole entire curse happened just because of one act of obedience, because of eating a piece of fruit, if all of this was caused by that one thing, how can we really call ourselves good? Because I think we've all done more than one act of disobedience in our life. You see, any act of disobedience toward God causes us to be not good. And so when you think that you're good... Be careful, because maybe you're not as good as you think you are. Hey, all I know is he told this young man that, why are you calling me good? If Jesus doesn't even want to be called good, then hey, I'm backing off. God is good. All the time, God is good. And he's good enough that he said, if we would just keep his commandments, we will inherit eternal life. We don't even have to be good. Praise God for that. And so for that good news, keep your eyes on the skies because Jesus is coming really soon.